All right, guys, short and sweet tonight. I'm just going to get right to the watches. I will say real quick, though, that um, hopefully I'm not jinxing anything. I definitely felt like, and I, I don't care about up or down markets. Um, for me, it's just about trade, tradable uh, opportunities, right? And I definitely felt like there was some decent intraday movements and decent pullback plays and things like that. Um, it wasn't so dead. So it's not the it's not the nice, sizable green candle in the spy. It's more just some you know really nice movement in individual stocks. I, obviously, you could argue those two things go together. Um, but it was nice to see some really good you know trades pan out today. Um, let's go right to it now. OCGN. A little mad at myself because let me show you five minute candles here. Um, this was curling up. Somebody pointed out in chat it was curling up, and I thought, hey, shorts might be in trouble in after hours and became really interested in an after hours buy right over the early high over 676. And then I went out to cut the grass. <laughs> um, but let's go to after hours. You can see uh, da -da -da -da, right about maybe five o'clock. A little after five o'clock, it finally broke that 676 and went all the way to 740. Um, I picked the right one. I just didn't take the time to hang out and make a trade out of it. But uh, anyway, hopefully some, some people uh, saw that scenario uh, setting up and made some money out of it. Anyway, back to my watch list. OCGN has actually had nice volume today. Pretty strong close, all things considered. You may have some shorts in trouble. Um, it went out in after hours, somewhere around seven bucks. Certainly going to watch for a continuation of that little gap up today. Uh, today. Um, FSR, very, very strong day. Went out pretty close to its highs. If you look at the weekly candle, this still looks weird, right? But when you look at the weekly candle, you say, okay, it really, really feels like FSR put in a bottom this week, right? So is tomorrow the day to look for a long trade? Well, that I don't know because, um, you know, it had a big move today. But this one, do yourself a favor. Keep this one on watch for the next week or two. I think we're going to see some good trades in it. Chewy. I had that support line. It bounced right off the support line. I had so many missed opportunities today, by the way. I, I told everybody in chat, I'm trying to think differently and take different kind of entries um, than I usually do. And one of them would have been after this open, the retest of yesterday's low and retest of the support line. And you can't see it on this chart, but also right around the 200 days. So look what happens if you look at it on like a two minute basis. Gaps down, goes right down to that same area. I actually took out yesterday's low, I think, by like a nickel. And then it just never looked back. Uh, I'm a little mad at myself for missing. And I mean, it's a perfectly acceptable trade. Um, to When you know you're sitting at support, to take that uh, little flush of the previous day's low. And uh, just another missed opportunity for me. Um, anyway, want to watch it. So now it's held support. And I think they had pretty good earnings back here. And... Hell, a lot of people I know use Chewy, including us. So it's certainly worth watching uh, for a continuation of this nice bounce off support tomorrow. All right. NVIDIA, NVDA, went out at its highs. Um, I mentioned late in the day that it might do an afternoon high of day break. The sad thing is, and this is what I look for on bounce plays, right? Had it on bounce watch. The sad thing is uh, the high was 613.43, and it broke that. Um... With maybe, what, five or ten minutes left. So I didn't take the trade. But that's that's kind of aggravating too. Um, but anyway, nice solid green day. Um, flush 600 yesterday and now it's right back up. So I'm looking for a continuation of that bounce tomorrow. Same thing with APPS. Finally got the bounce. We're just looking for a follow through day on that bounce. C didn't type that right. CHPT, I believe, is EV charging and has held the 20 area here, here, and then again today here. It actually went down to 1904, but for reversing and closing strong, I'm looking for a follow through day um, now that this one has held support. Nice volume there today too. CLOV had the massive two volume day, and a couple lower highs, but a green close today. Definitely goes on long watch. BTX, quiet inside day after the big rip yesterday. I'm looking for a third day play there. SKLZ, I mean, look at that candle. Uh, very, very strong. Extended in the short term, but that's the biggest volume you can see going back however long. Um, just like FSR, I would say keep skills, SKLZ, on watch for the next week or two for intraday opportunities. Remember, I don't hold overnight, so I'm looking for charts that are interesting, right? In play again. 
Um, and then I'm looking for intraday setups. All right, so that's skills. A um, couple more, TYHT, big breakout today, but closing well off its highs. We'll look for a follow through day there. And then lastly, PTON, which is Peloton. Um, if you look at the bigger picture here, it's not a very handsome chart. You got a massive head and shoulders, right? And then it, it's looking pretty close to breaking that, what they call the neckline. Um, but it's also fallen for about a week straight and is getting near where it's bounced off of. Like down here, it went to 94. Right here, it went to 98.73. Today's low, 99.12. Um, you know, if we get another sell off, keep in mind it's already down several days in a row. Uh, it's interesting, maybe around the 95 level or something. And I don't know if it's going to do that or not. But anyway, this one goes on bounce watch. Again, I don't really like the longer term chart, but that doesn't mean anything. Um, head and shoulders don't have to play out. Um, so we might get a nice bounce one of these days, maybe tomorrow. I'm going to leave it at that. We'll add gappers to this list and hopefully get some nice trades tomorrow. All right, I'll see you guys in the chat room.